I'm Jim Collison and live from the Gallup campus here in Omaha, Nebraska. This is Gallup's Called the Coach, recorded on February 21st, 2019. Called the Coach is a resource for those who want to help others discover and use their strengths. We have Gallup experts and independent strengths coaches share tactics, insights, and strategies to help coaches maximize the talent of individuals, teams, and organizations around the world. Today, community update for February 2019. We'll be spending about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, talking about things that are going on in the community. A very tactical podcast for you. If you have questions during the webcast, we do have a live chat room that's available for you. Uh, right below or to the right of the video, the three little dots pop it out. It is there. You can log into it. We'll take your questions live during the program. If you're listening to the recorded version and have questions after the fact, you can send us an email, coaching at gallop.com. And then, of course, don't forget to visit the Gallup Strength Center uh, at gallopstrengthcenter.com for all your Clifton Strengths coaching resources and training needs. You can also catch this video, the replay of it, or the downloadable audio. We call that podcasting. All the cool kids are doing it. All the links you need to get signed up for that, whether on Android or iPhone or whatever, Stitcher or TuneIn or all those things. Spotify now, we're on Spotify. You can get those on our coach's blog, coaching.gallup.com. Micah Librant is our host today. She's a workplace consultant at Gallup. I've been with Micah, it feels like most of the morning, but uh, welcome <laughs> to this community update, Micah. Thanks, Jim. Um, so this is really born of the idea of if you could listen to nothing else, this is exactly where we wanted to capture your attention, right, Jim? Yes, no, totally. We, we're going to spend 15 or 20 minutes kind of plowing through like what's relevant right now. What do you need to know right now? And what are we hearing in the community that we can update you on? And so we're kind of blow through this. There will be a little bit of a post show as well, but this is the, if you listen to one thing, listen to this. And okay. listen to it in time. Like don't, don't, Put this on your back burner and stack your playlist to say, I'll listen to this in like 90 or 100 days because it won't be nearly as important to you. Yeah. There'll be some stuff that will transfer, but it's really, really, really important now. Michael, why don't you get us kicked off a little bit as we think about what, what do we want to communicate to the coaches? I want to, I'm a big fan of starting with submission and um, I didn't just say submission. I said some mission. So we're going to start with mission and, and probably maybe a, a stark reality. You, you all get to see my communication positivity. Um, but gosh, at the end of the day, we have a pretty big problem to solve as human beings here on planet earth, where we know that 85% of working adults are either not engaged, that's the majority of us, or actively disengaged, which is a minority, but a dangerous minority. Um, this matters. And if we're not paying attention to it, we are missing a very key point in what our narrative is as members of this strengths community and as, and as parts of this movement. Um, in, I, always, I presented that actually yesterday in an executive briefing for, for a client here at Gallup. But one of the questions that they asked is similar to what I often get when we talk about these statistics as well, you know, doesn't that have to do with things that are out of our hands? But the truth is this number hasn't changed pretty significantly or drastically in the nearly two decades that we've been measuring it. That means that engagement is local. It's not as affected by global swings in macroeconomic factors as we want to sometimes think it might be. Uh, for every single adult who's not engaged at work, that is a meaningful missed opportunity. Um, that's talent that's left untapped. That's productivity that we're not getting. That's creativity and problem solving that we're just leaving at home or, or leaving on the table. Or maybe we're finding that in hobbies somewhere else, but we're not doing it in a way that makes the most of it. Um, that also means that there's a community of people around that individual, their friends, their family, Maybe they're kids who learn from them what it means to go to work every day, who are setting their own expectations and kind of regulating how they think about and experience their lives accordingly. So we know that our habits, our health, our, our well-being um, is more influenced by the people we spend the most time with than anybody else. Um, it's typically fewer than 10 people. It's not the books we read. It's not the podcasts we listen to. It's not the goals that we set. So your work as a coach or as a strengths enthusiast or any sort of member of this community does not end with the person that you are coaching. People who focus on their strengths at work are six times as likely to be engaged in their jobs. So if you want to go back to the, the gauntlet I threw down with 85% of us not being engaged, the, the, the role that strengths plays in fixing that cannot be ignored. People who receive feedback on their strengths are almost 8% 
increase in productivity. They are 7.8% more productive. And outstanding performance from human beings is the result of them knowing what they do best and figuring out how to create the opportunity and ask for the opportunity and take the opportunity to do that every single day. So if you are helping one person through that challenge as in your role as a coach or as a champion or as just somebody who believes in strengths, you are helping impact the lives of, of circles of other people, ripples of other people, um, especially if that one person is a manager. And you're going to hear from, from Gallup quite a bit, especially this year, the importance of the manager along with a bunch of um, important research and and really interesting findings that we have around the role of the manager. Um, so today we want to talk about really what's stopping you from making the most of that. Um, maybe you're not certified. Um, maybe you're not yet confident enough to use Clifton Strengths 34 instead of just top five. Maybe you're not using your code discount because I know when I say, gosh, why aren't we using full 34? That can sound like, well, it's expensive as your first sort of uh, line of, of exit ramp. Um, but there is a code discount that is now easier to understand that we want to make sure that you have the awareness of right in front of you. Maybe there's something that's keeping you from really stepping up and acting like a leader in this movement. Uh, today, we're going to talk about all of these things. And I hope that you hear your call to do something about this because folks getting to be a part of this community is fun and exciting and I think makes us feel better as individuals. But if we're not taking that one step further and really infusing it into the difference that we're making in the lives of other people, we're, we're really not on, on the right page. Micah, in some of the Theme Thursday Strengths Explorer work that we do, we, we often issue a challenge. I didn't write this in the notes, so you don't know where I'm going with this. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, get us started with what I'm going to call the one-page challenge. I get Great. a lot of questions in the Facebook group about all the time about what is Clifton Strengths and how do I explain that to individuals? Is there a one-pager? that is out there. I've always kind of hesitated on this one page idea. One, because I think it's too simplistic. Uh, two, because I think it kind of matters uh, your style and what you're doing and the area you're coaching and who you're working with. We spend a lot of time at our thegalpstrengthcenter.com of trying to make that a site or a one pager. What reminded me of this, as you said, the 6% and 7.8% stats that we put out there. By the way, we have a coaching uh, a research for coaches series that we have started. Adam Hickman started that off March 15th. Jim Harder will be coming on. Our goal is to really help explain some of our research. I think Micah, sometimes coaches go in and say they use the 6% and then somebody with, with uh, analytical says, yeah, but prove that to me. And coaches go, oh, I don't know. I just got it off the Gallup website. <laughs> so I think it's really, really important. You understand those stats before you, you say them, but I want to issue this one page challenge. If you have a one pager, if you've put one together, if you haven't, maybe you should based on what you do. But let me encourage you to start creating your own one pager that we share together on the Facebook group to get some ideas of what are other people doing to explain this? What are other people doing to get into these into these circles? And we can kind of just load those up a little bit in our Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash call to coach. And, and they still belong to you, but let me encourage you to really start to think through what would you grab? What would it look like? How do you make it uniquely yours? And how do you own that? Not just regurgitating the data that we've given you. I know 6%, I know 7.8%, but really own that for what you're, for what you're doing. I don't know, Micah, any other thoughts you would, you would add to that for the one page challenge? Just that it's a really great first step and we need to see it as that. But if you are going to, own your journey here, you can't say, hold on, I'll send you a one pager. If somebody asks why strengths or what is strengths, I think it's got to lead this, this idea of a one pager. I love because I think it'll bring together a lot of our best ideas and maybe our most salient moments that have really worked to get strengths into the consideration of other people who maybe don't know about it. But I think it also needs to transform into your ability to just be excited about it and not have to hide behind stats or hide behind what Gallup has said, but what speaks to this about you and your your courage to say, this is why it's important to me and this is therefore how I can work for you. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't even say you would actually ever use this one pager, to be honest, but it's something you own in your ability to reflect what the mission and purpose is 
of what you're trying to do and how you're trying to move the engagement number and how we're trying to help people be more productive in the workplace. All those things need to be rep represented. And I don't think if you've taken the time to put your own one pager together, some would call this a mission statement or a yeah. purpose statement, right? Um, but if you haven't taken the time, I'm going to encourage you to do that. All right. So we'll spend some time in the one page challenge, so to speak. We'll share those through the Facebook group. If you don't, if you're not in Facebook, you can email them to me. I'll post them there, whatever. We'll figure out um, ways to get that done. Micah, you'd mentioned certification, this idea of getting certified. We've had, you know, 10,000 plus people train with us. We have about 6,000 certifi certified people. There's a delta there. What do you see that stops people and why That's shouldn't it? Fancy. I think, what do you mean by delta? That it's not the same number? The difference between 6,000 and 10,000, that 4,000 in there. What, yeah. what, what, what do you see? Well, you know what? It's interesting. And if you're if you're one of those who's been trained and is eligible to be certified but hasn't taken that step, I don't want to guess why it isn't. But I've spoken to a couple of of people in that um, in that space who are either intimidated by the process itself or just have not sat down to do it. Um, and I want to help you understand that it is within our best interest that you are certified. Um, it is our desire that people we have trained and people we have poured into and people who've made that investment with us to go through that education experience, um, that we can keep you as part of that community, right? The, 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 the reason for certification is to be able to say we've got this common language and this common approach and that we are all plugged into the same mission and the same understanding of the tool itself. So that when somebody um, comes across you and your passion for strengths, that they can trust that it isn't um, a game of telephone that's gone too far away from really what the integrity of the instrument is for. Um, also, the benefit of being certified is essentially you come to the front of the line for anything that Gallup has to offer you. So um, communication goes to a certified coaches first. You get the benefit of uh, utilizing our annual learning series, which is, um, I almost want to say, um, invaluable. It's hard to put a price tag on on that sort of ongoing education, but it's really just our, our way of saying, let's make sure that we stay connected, that we stay plugged into each other. Um, you also then get to use the Gallup logo go and say, okay, yes, I am, in fact, not just somebody who's interested in this, not somebody who's really learned about it, but someone who's gone that extra mile to um, to have that certification. The other benefit of it is your certification is owned by you. So even if your company has sent you through and sponsored you um, in, in the training, the certification follows you. It doesn't follow your company. Um, I also think sometimes it feels intimidating. So we have, um, there's a couple pieces to certification. You have to apply, you have to finish um, a couple coaching sessions with an evaluation that we provide you and get a certain score on passing there. And then you also have to complete a hundred question exam. Um, that sounds intimidating. I get it. It sounds intimidating if for no other reason than fitting all that into your calendar. But I will tell you, the sooner you can do it after you've been through the training, the better your chances are of passing it the first time. We provide an incredible amount of support um, in being able to walk you through with a study guide, with a, even a, a video tutorial of what you should study. Um, and I'll tell you right now, if you uh, have studied your themes and know all 34 and what they mean, and you know a bit about what this instrument is designed to do and what it's not designed to do, you are set up pretty well to pass that exam. The other pieces of it really just include making sure that our understanding of our tools is on point and that our, um, our methods and our ideas around how to stay within that realm of, of, of strengths-based, of positive psychology, of really focusing on what's right with people, um, that really, I mean, why would you not want to have that stamp of approval uh, behind you? If you're uh, hearing this today and you're thinking, yeah, my guy should be certified, just send an email to certification at gallup.com. If you've lost your support materials or any instructions, or you just aren't even sure where you are on that track, we can help you through our team there. We have made a change recently with our certification where that was taking weeks to get things back to people. And we're now down to hours. I think mm -hmm. I, I don't want to overstate that expectation, but it's pretty fast uh, now. If you have any questions along the lines of certification, what to do, where you're at, what it looks like, how do I become that way? Send us an email, right? Certification at gallop.com. Um, many of the questions I answer on Facebook could have been probably answered a little bit faster, although I'm pretty fast on Facebook through that certification address. So let me just remind you uh, kind of of that. Um, do you have to be certified to do coaching, Micah? Is that, is that a requirement? Can I do strengths coaching and not be certified? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I hope you're doing strengths coaching every single day, but you can't say that you are a Gallup certified strengths coach unless you're actually certified. No, right on. We mentioned the discount. Uh, and so for our certified strengths coaches, there is a discount available to you for our codes, $350, $10 off any of the three products. So any of the top five, any of the upgrade to 34, anything that we do around the full 34 is available to you. I shared some of these stats in the Facebook group, but I'll share them here too, because I think they're um, I think they're valid. We have had um, um, come through and we think about the purchase, the habits of our coaches who are buying now. Full 80% are buying top fives using that discount. Now, that's great. Uh, we heard a lot from the community back uh, back in 2018. Give us an all 34 discount. Um, some of you maybe not have realized, I think from the emails I've been getting, that that discount applied to the all 34. Some of you are using that well, but it does. So you can use that for all 34, 15% all 34, 5% upgrades. Micah, that number surprised me because that upgrade is really kind of the sweet spot. We have a lot of coaches that only had top five to begin with, and there's some opportunities to start coaching on all 34. We have a beautiful report that we have talked about a ton, mm -hmm. tons of training materials. We're going to talk about it at the summit. You're gonna want your your you know you're gonna want those you coach to have this all 34 report available to him. There are literally uh, there's a year of coaching just off the 34 report. So go ahead. Yeah, and I I'm just gonna say I'm gonna be brave enough and admit that I've changed my uh, stance on top five versus all 34, and I, I think. It is because of the work that we've done around supporting all 34. Years ago, the only way that you would ever see all 34 is if you had a Gallup coach to walk you through the entire report together. And for a long time, I worked with clients who really only had top five. And my at, at that point, I wanted to support what they were doing. And I truly believed that, gosh, you know, five is enough for people. It's, you know, anything more that I still am surprised by the number of even coaches who I'll ask them what their top five are and they can't remember all five. Uh, and that I think is a clue to, well, then are you really prepared for 34? However, this Clifton Strengths 34 report that has come out and the amount of resources and education that are available for not only our coaches, but for everybody, for everybody you coach to have something in front of them that they can make sense of, um, that is positive, that really steers them away from misusing the tool, um, certainly makes it safe and exciting and well worth being able to understand your entire profile. Now, I watch your comments on Facebook. I saw <laughs> that at one point somebody had said, um, you know, isn't all 34 totally against Don Clifton's view of focus on, you know, what's right with you. And I think that that's just kind of a misunderstanding of, of the tool and how to use it because your 34 are not 34 ways that you need to be. They are not 34 competencies. They are not um, in no way does, do we, do we reveal 34 and say, okay, these lower ones you need to improve. Instead, it is a full profile of where you your highest concentrations of talent lie and who you're not. And I, I did two coaching calls this morning, really early this morning, one in, this is so cool. I did one in Kuwait and one in Paris before nine o'clock. Um, so it is a global movement. But um, what, I, what I found myself saying, really introducing people to this concept of all 34 was there's a couple reasons we want to look at your bottom themes or your lesser talent themes. One is there might be power in not behaving that way. Two is we want to prepare you to better have stronger connections with other people who can do things differently than you can. That um, if you, and a great, a really great way just to make sure that what you're doing is still in line with how it's being designed and what really gets us that bump in engagement. Um, you know, if you think about that six times more likely to be engaged at work, if I truly can agree that I get to do what I do best every day, that doesn't come just from unlocking your top five D34. It doesn't just come from getting feedback. I think it comes from staying true to those five guiding principles. One of them is differences are advantages. The other one is people need one another. Looking at your full 34 allows you to be so much more mindful and I think so much more intentional about who you're not and what drains you and what you might want to say no to. So I've changed my stance. I used to be um, on a soapbox all the time about only top five. We got a lot of questions uh, for, can can we have a top 10 report? And I think what we've done around 34 is so much better than that because it's saying, okay, let's look truly at who you are and treat people like adults, hold them accountable for not misusing it. They'll be fine. <laughs>
Yeah, and there is actually a top 10 report built into the 34 report. In other words, the first set of pages is really a top 10 report. And we have coaches, I've heard from coaches now who are only coaching 34. And I think sometimes we may bring our own presuppositions about what people do when they get that information that, you know, Lisa had mentioned in the chat room, uh, that sometimes they get a little wrapped around the axle with all 34 and I really think how we prepare them and how we get them ready for that. We wrote the 34 report intentionally knowing what happens when people get all this data. And so okay. we've done a ton of things. By the way, your feedback is super important to us to help prevent that, to create it in sections that could be consumed over time, to really add that value and provide that information that helps them walk through this from 5 to 10 to 34. And it's um, so much more valuable when they have you too. So it is designed to be very user friendly that they could do this without a coach, but it, it really amplifies it and takes off when they're not doing it alone. And part of your job then is just to help them navigate themselves, not to teach them or tell them who they are, not to prescribe action, but to be there as their safari guide as they're discovering things. Mm -hmm. One of the other stats we've seen around this ability for folks to get access to all 34 through your discount if you're a certified coach or even if, if you don't have access to the discount of having people uh, upgrade or, or purchase the all 34. Um, we have a, only had about 80 or we've we've had about 80 percent of our certified coaches not take advantage of the discount so far. So we're 50 days or 52 days into the year uh, so far. And uh, in about only about 1,500, I watch this every day, by the way, nobody knows the report better than me um, at this point, and only about 1,500 have bought at least one. Um, and so don't forget, we don't say this because we, we necessarily want to sell it to you. We say this because it's a value that you have, a $3,500 value to you every day. You want to justify this? Maybe you're not certified and you need to justify it in your organization. $3,500 a year in that. We have discounts available for education folks coming in to get uh, certified in that. That in two, for, for the average coach, two years paid for, right? Just on the discount uh, that, that comes with this. So let's, uh, as we go out there, if you don't know, like you're like, oh, I had no idea. That's why we're doing this. Because it's early in the year, Micah, and I don't want anybody to get to the end of the year. Say you're not certified. You're one of those 4,000 in my Delta that you're, you've been waiting, get it done. You can, if you get that done today, that, that, uh, that opportunity for you, that discount kicks in immediately and you can start purchasing those codes um, using the discount. It's available on checkout. If you don't see it on the checkout when you're buying the codes, don't buy them, stop, go back, call our, our, our customer support and let's get that handled for you or send us that email certification uh, at gallup.com. Micah, anything else you'd add on that before we move on? No, I think that's great. We wanted to talk about the summit. We mentioned earlier, Mike and I are going to be doing a special session. I was just talking uh, about we have some all 34 sessions coming during the summit. So you probably want to be there if you've got some questions around it. We've got some things coming up around the summit. Uh, I've been mentioning this during the learning series, but for the general population here, as we think about it, anybody can listen to this. Uh, we'll be making a migration from the Gallup Strength Center this year to Gallup Access, and there's been a lot of questions about that. If you want to come and see, the time to migrate is not today, by the way. It's February 21st. Well, I get that question a lot. Like, oh, when should we do it? Just hold off as we think about fourth quarter of 2019. That's really going to be the time. We're going to prep you for it. There'll be tons of communication coming out around it. We're going to help you get there. But if you want to get an advanced look at what we'll be moving to in the consumer model for Gallup Access, that'll be coming at the summit. Micah, you've been knee deep in the preparation for the summit. What else would you highlight as we think about uh, things coaches could take advantage of by joining us June 3rd, 4th, and 5th here in Omaha? Um, I, I really think that we have taken off our sophistication. Like we've, we've put a real engine under the sophistication tool of the summit. So we are purposefully offering you lots of options to say, what does this look like in a workplace? What does this look like for a manager? What does Gallup know about not just the role of Clifton Strengths, but the role of talent um, every day in, in those places that we work and live? Um, we've also arranged your breakouts to be able to say, we 
we want to be a lot more mindful about being incredibly explicit about what you're going to get from each breakout, which is why as of the 21st of February, you probably haven't seen them yet because we're being really picky about saying this is exactly what we're going to talk about so that you are able to choose the the track and the breakout and the, the really the best way that's going to customize your time there. That being said, we've also organized them slightly differently than before. So you might see you could show up at this um, session and bring somebody at this at the summit, bring somebody maybe along with you who knows nothing about Clifton Strengths, and both of you will leave with your current experience truly elevated. You could, if you wanted to, spend every breakout learning more about the tool itself. Um, if you choose differently, you could spend you know your entire time learning about Gallup research or learning about um, tips and tricks or really being challenged to do some of our more experiential sessions, which we get a lot of feedback from. I will also say, um, I get to be part of now a team at, who pays incredibly close attention to the feedback that you give us from your experience and really wants to make sure that we're building upon that. So some of the feedback that we got was we wanted, um, you know, one of the things we always hear is that we want to know what's new at Gallup. And so we're being um, real mindful about that and pretty explicit about it. So you can hop on some of those breakouts. There are lots of um, options to be able to say, uh, we hear this, Jim, on, on our Facebook page all the time. Does anybody have an experience with XYZ type of client or with this specific type of challenge? And so there's a couple opportunities to come and listen to that as well. The summit will sell out and this year um, has sold out the last couple of years. So you, you probably don't want to wait too long. Um, they have a pretty generous refund policy. So if you think, well, I don't know if I can make those dates, you might want to get signed up and get it paid. You can um, we you can get all that information that's um, that's on the site. Um, like Micah mentioned, we'll be releasing the breakouts. They're going to be dynamite. They are dynamite every year. Do not let that slow you down. Um, Andrea asked, are hotel rooms still available? As of this time, they are, but those things fill up very, very fast. Mm -hmm. Omaha in June is a very popular place to be. We have a bunch of things going on around the College World Series. We have a bunch of things going on with swim trials this year. We, You, you, you don't want to delay on those. You want to make sure you jump in there um, and kind of get that done. June 3rd, 4th, and 5th this year. June is a beautiful time to be in Omaha, by the way. July, when it's been, is super hot. June is super great. We have everything you need. We're going to take care of you. Micah, one of the things I get asked, when should I come? Well, they're official. Officially, we start 5 o'clock on Monday, and we'll go through 5 o'clock on Wednesday. But there'll be some unofficial things that go on Sunday, Saturday, sun mostly Sunday, a little bit on Monday. There's training before and after. All that training has been posted to the website. You can go out there um, and get that. Anything else you'd add before I move on? The training that is around the summit, I believe uh, you get a discount on that. Um, the training, I, I got to take uh, one of the classes that was connected to the summit. It was a post-summit class. I took our advanced strengths coaching course last year. And um, the, the energy that you get taking a class at the summit or around the summit is different than, in, than taking another Gallup class any other time of the year. And I think I think I can be very, very honest in saying I've never spoken to someone at the summit who wished they weren't there. <laughs> like At the end of the day, we can tell you a hundred reasons that you should come, but when else during the rest of your year are you going to spend all day, every day, even in those hours that you should be sleeping, surrounded by people who are helping you think more about human talent and human potential. So it is a highly concentrated way to really plug in and use that as fuel for what you're doing to change the world the rest of the year. I don't sleep much that weekend because uh, I stay late and there's lots of after parties going on. And guess what? All those parties talking about strengths and how to coach people. It's fantastic um, conversation. So make sure you're getting signed up for those. Two more things and then we'll let you go. One is uh, if you are if you are certified, now the benefit of being certified, we just finished the Gout Learning Series. If you haven't heard about this, I don't know why you haven't, but if you haven't for some reason, um, that's available for you. You can send us an email, certification at gallup.com. We'll send you the links back out to be able to watch that. That is available for all of our certified coaches. And then next month, Micah, Angela Davenport, who is our certification and ICF guru, everything you need to know about all the certification outside of our own is going to join us for the first 15 minutes and kind of walk through a little bit of all the ICF credit hours and what's core competency and what's all those other things and what those mean. She'll be joining us in April uh, for that um, as well. We'll be excited to have her. So we'll want you to come back for this. As we close it, Micah, anything else you'd add? 
Yeah, we need to, um, I think, give, just give a virtual global round of applause to everybody who's here on this call. You are what makes this community tick. You are the ones who are sort of accepting that challenge of changing how people feel about work and how they feel about their lives and challenging them to be even more of themselves. There's zero chance we could um, change some of these global numbers without you. And I, I just think about the multiplicative effect that we have of hope, of engagement, of well-being, because of you coaches who are here today. So thank you so much for the work that you do. We do have a global number that you can start tracking. Our engagement number, with Micah led off on this, about 15% globally, about 34% here in the United States are engaged. If you want to see the impact that we're making globally with as in the coaching movement that is going on right now, that would be a number to track. And we're talking about changing, you know, uh, three or four billion people's lives in the workforce in making it a better place to be. And that might, that that's not a, a, a number that moves fast, but it's certainly a number that we track every single year. And uh, I challenge you to kind of keep your eye on the ball on that one. And that if we're not changing the workplace, uh, as we're gonna talk a little bit about probably next time with It's the Manager, we've got some important work to do. And, uh, and you can help and you need to be, many of you are positioned perfectly uh, to be able to do this in our workplaces. We'll remind everyone to take full advantages of all the resources we have available at the Gallup Strength Center, just gallupstrengthcenter.com. Send us your questions or comments. Uh, we'd love to have those too. You can send us in an email, coaching at gallup.com. If you want the links, uh, a lot of the resources we mentioned today, all everything that's going on with that is on our coaches blog, coaching.gallup.com. We mentioned about becoming a Gallup Certified Coach. If this is new to you and you want to see a list of courses that lead to that certification, they're on our courses page, courses.gallup.com. Let me just say it's a lot better though. Send us, an e send us an email at that coaching address and someone will just call you right back. That's the easiest way to get that done. If you have questions, we can get you signed up and figure out where the best place to get that done is. Micah mentioned the discount during the, su the summit. It's a 10% discount. Those, those prices are posted on the, on the, um, summit page at cliftonstrengthsummit.com. And we'd remind you to jump into our Facebook group. If you haven't done that yet, facebook.com slash groups slash called to coach. We'll be back in April. Another quick update. We're going to really try to hold these to 30 minutes. Uh, if you're listening live, stay around for a little bit, a little bit of post show with that. We'll say goodbye, everybody.